Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys' DC Multiverse figure. Why, it's old Martian the Manhunter and his DC Rebirth dig. So he's a little bit of a different costume than I, what I'm used to, right? I like Justice League Unlimited, Martian Manhunter, classic Martian Manhunter. But uh, I saw this guy on the store shelves at Walmart, and I was like, well... Let's check him out. Let's see if he's any good. And here's the barcode as well. And like I said, I found mine at Walmart, so they're starting to hit store shelves now. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Maybe grab yourself a few Oreos eh, for Duncan. This is a look at the brand new Martian Manhunter DC Rebirth figure from the DC Multiverse line by McFarlane Toys. And of course, here's everything out of the packaging. And I mean everything. Not a whole lot. It's basically just a figure, which yeah, is kind of nice at the same time. I mean, a couple extra hands or maybe a head portrait would have been cool. But you actually do a kit of pretty good looking Martian Manhunter. As I'll reiterate, it's not my ideal looking costume for Martian Manhunter, but I can see this growing on me. He's got really nice colorings, purples, yellows, reds, blacks, and that really nice Martian green skin. He's actually painted in the nines. I give it to him all day. This is a very good looking DC multiverse figure. And the head portraits, just look at that. With the shading underneath the eyes, the red eyes, that is pretty cool. The bone structure really gives him that pronounced Martian brown with the cheekbones. I dig this figure. I think it's pretty cool. You can't get him looking up too much. I like his little cone head right there. But uh, you can get him looking down. He actually has some pretty solid articulation. Even though he has got double jointed elbows and knees, it's not like the Ultraman. It's not like the Peacemaker. It actually works for me. And he does have a semblance of an ab crunch. Now, they're getting better with that. A little bit further, right? Twists at the waist, of course. This little part right here is a little loincloth, you could call it, right? Martian loincloth. Covers that McFarlane diaper, but it looks good. It actually works. It's like the Batman figures. He's got a really nice purple long flowing cape. I always say nice things about the cape. They can do no wrong with the cape. You can kick his legs out. He has got double jointed knees and he does have some rocker in the ankles and he's got the toe. Now, unlike, let's say, the Batman of Zurin R or even Ultraman, the, the ball joints on this one seem different and they work a whole heck of a lot more instead of having to force individual parts and pieces. So yeah, overall, I mean, it definitely works for my tastes in terms of what I'm looking for for standing and articulation. And now you do basically have another member of the Justice League. For the figures that we have presently, they're kind of all over the place in terms of costumes, right? You got different eras, different looks, rebirth, classic, kind of a mashup of the two. However, it is kind of cool to see, you know, you kind of assembling the uh, the animated Justice League. All we need is like a really cool, as many Wonder Womans as we've gotten. It'd be nice to get a more accurate comic book one in the McFarlane line. You know what I'm talking about? And then throw in a uh, Hawk Girl, and I think we'd be pretty set. I mean, it is looking pretty cool to have most of the, uh, the Justice League there. If Batman doesn't fit your taste, there's a billion Batmans you could fit in there. And with the mega figures, the big old deluxe figures, one of my favorite scenes, I remember this from Justice League Unlimited, we'll just use that as reference, was when uh, Clayface showed up and then Martian Manhunter fooled everybody. They all thought they had trapped Martian Manhunter, turns out it was Clayface, but uh, yeah, here's a little thing, because Clayface just came out. But really, with this figure, with the looks, the colors, he really does pop. And I'll tell you that, for the most part, yes, he does scale. We all know that's an issue with McFarlane toys, but he's not too tall, but I think he fits in just at the right size. So, I highly recommend this guy. I think he's cool. No, he doesn't come with any accessories, which... Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a bummer. I would have liked some extra hands, some Martian-y type hands, you know what I mean? Something like that, or heck, even a, a shape-changing ability, like an extra head portrait, I think that's really where it would have fit, or a box of Oreos, you know what I mean? Who knows? Just a couple things here and there that I would have changed, but overall, the look, the paint, the articulation, it's a pretty darn good, solid McFarlane Toys figure. But as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think about this Martian Manhunter, Jean Jones. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Martian Manhunter. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, 
Drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, now wouldn't it be cool to get some of those uh, white Martians, you know what I mean, with the uh, Imperium and all that kind of stuff? I gotta go back and watch that show again. Man, that show was great. Maybe I'll pull out the Mattel figures as well. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Thank you.